everybody else is in a square living in that square and then you're somewhere out of space floating all over and somehow you see how confined people are to their boundaries of their mind or or other things and having conversations with your friends aren't the same having conversations with people that you used to be able to relate to they're not the same <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to Holistic Flow. I am your girl Lolo, and in this video today, I just wanted to sit down and talk to y'all about a common occurrence that happens when you become a little bit more mature than the people around you. And this is a common occurrence that also happens when you develop a little bit more awareness, a little bit more also discernment about people's energy, spiritually, um, emotional intelligence, and also a better relationship with yourself and know that you are you are aligned with the most high you are son daughter whoever descendant of the most high right there's a lot that happens when you go through seasons and changes and some of us just grow and evolve more than others i know this feeling all too well and so just to get into it um, a little while ago, I had gotten comments on a video saying, on, for my Patreon channel, which is down right now, working some things out with that, but on my Patreon, I had gotten a request to do a video about feeling like you're losing touch with other people around you. Even your closest friends, you may feel disconnected just from your friends, your family, you just feel disconnected from every human, <laughs> every other human. And it's this feeling of non-relatability. Like you can't relate to other people. It's like you're, everybody else is in a square, living in that square, and then you're somewhere out of space, floating all over. And somehow you see how confined people are to their boundaries of their mind or, or other things and having conversations with your friends aren't the same having conversations with people that you used to be able to relate to they're not the same and so you feel this i guess otherworldliness about yourself and your experience that feels isolated and this is a large this can be a large reason why people find it difficult to make friends as one of my most popular videos is still on this channel um why you don't fit in and have no friends <laughs> so talk knowing this feeling firsthand and being able to talk about it and understand why I mean why we may feel that way is important because a lot of us just want to be heard and, feel, and felt and having these conversations we may stray away from that because we feel like other people don't understand that we're the only person on the earth and innately we know that's not true but we never know where there is a safe space to be able to share these things about how we're feeling about the world around us so i'll just say that you know to go ahead and get into the video to describe this feeling is like having a conversation with somebody who you used to be able to have really in-depth conversations with maybe this is someone that you're close with or your friend, close family member, and you're just realizing like mid-conversation, like this isn't vibing the way that it used to vibe. Something feels off. I, I'm having a difficult time connecting. I'm having a difficult time feeling a genuine connection in resonation with this conversation or even with this person. And not only does that happen with one person who you're close to, but multiple other people who you're close to and so you start to realize that, okay, it's, it's a different thing when it's just one person that that's happening to, because obviously you just don't resonate with that person anymore. But when it starts to happen with multiple different people, it becomes something to where you are obviously on a separate <laughs> planet than every other person. And I feel this is a season that we're put through a lot of the times to help us develop and grow. Sometimes we're put in seasons of isolation and that looks like not being able to connect with the people around us or even getting cut off from friends or us 
just feeling like we need to cut somebody off or naturally drifting away from people around you and it may be all people around you just so that you can develop a better relationship with yourself even if you feel like you've already done that and also start to exalt yourself um not exalt but you know experience a higher level of thinking sometimes when we're going through adverse situations we see those situations as a setback but really it is always a a thing of protection we need to be protected in seasons like this so that we're not influenced so much by the people around us the environments around us etc and so if you've always been somebody who other people would say is kind of like weird or other people would say is kind of like i can't really figure them out like why people just look at you and they just be confused or they just be trying to stare at you and figure you out because you're a little bit you know different <laughs> set apart and and it's not something that you can ever hide it's not something that you could ever mask but sometimes we do try to mask it because we want to be relatable we want to feel like we can have in-depth conversations with people just because we know what it feels like to be seen as an outcast so even with other people we want them to feel seen and heard if, if you're not feeling seen and heard and obviously they're not feeling seen and heard as well it becomes something where it, it becomes a little bit discouraging so i would say be encouraged throughout that season and also know that there will be some changes that will happen that are unexpected you know you may have a best friend or or maybe even close friends and maybe you're in a position to where you go in and out of friendships very easily and very fast because they just don't last long and it's not necessarily for you to stay there but it's really for you to have an experience with somebody else where you uplift them they elevate you in your own ways and then it's time to move on because you're evolving a little bit faster than the i would say average person but the the whole gag is the illusion is that we are alone in this process that we are the minority that the set apart that the weird that the different that the socially awkward we're the minority but actually we're the majority because there are so many people who feel this way who are not spoken for because they surround they always surround themselves with other people like you know those probably like the most popular people that you've ever seen like in high school or cliques or stuff like that or even in college or even just at work right some people who who surround themselves by the most people and they feel like it seems like from the outside looking in that they have the most friends they have the most social interaction they always get invited to places and from the outside looking in that looks like the life that is suitable for you right but the reason that they might do that is because inside even though they're surrounded by people they still feel lonely and the only way that they feel like they can avoid that is to surround themselves physically by people even if they know that it doesn't have any substance to involve themselves in those relationships so a lot of people they tend to feel like they need to mask that that feeling even though they feel the same way as you but the thing is hey y'all i just want to first say a huge thank you to all of you all for supporting my lock journey for almost three years and because of that support i'm constantly looking for new ways to support you all a lot of you struggle with uh, finding a holistic lock care routine maintaining your journey in a way that finds your highest self so i've created the crown of confidence challenge which is a five-day lock journey challenge to embody your highest self through your journey and this challenge is all about boosting self-confidence embracing your journey and doing it with a incredible community of like-minded individuals it starts on monday september 25th and ends on friday september 19th so throughout this challenge i will be interacting with you all daily on instagram and youtube Plus, there will be two participants that will win an $100 gift card for natural hair products and a free copy of my mindfulness ebook, The Mindfulness Blueprint, just for participating. So here's how to enter. Scan that QR code. 
Um, each day of the challenge, I will be posting Monday through Friday. So comment something under the post. It could be just an emoji or just to vent your feelings. And then thirdly, tag a friend who would love to participate. You know, something like that under every post on Instagram or on YouTube. So mark your calendar for this transformative journey and opt into the challenge by clicking this QR code here. And I hope to see you participating in it soon. Fortunately, some of us have accepted just the fact that we are who we are. And we can't hide our difference. We can't hide our set apartness. We, we can't hide the fact that we're different and that we have different abilities, even talents, gifts. And we're naturally driven by our passion and purpose instead of just the grain of society that is accepted. And because of that, we have a greater advantage because we don't have to put on that mask. That mask hides you and hides yourself from your growth. You're in your own way if you decide to wear that mask and you consciously make a effort to step down from your higher purpose when you choose that route. Fortunately, some of us have chosen to accept who we are, accept that we can't change who we are and how we were born and whatever that sets us apart sticks out like a sore thumb and there's no way that we can mask it. And I feel like that's actually one of the greatest advantages to have because the more that people, you know, can't figure you out, you don't relate to other people, that just says that you were created for a higher purpose. Basically so. But ev everybody and anybody can be that person. It's just some people can choose to not be that person and then other people can choose to accept it I, I think that's what it dwindles down to so you know let me know how you resonate with this video it was kind of short but I just definitely needed to voice this because a lot of people are you know hidden in the shadows kind of like in the corners they don't really comment on the videos but you really resonate with what I'm saying when I talk about that because it's real I'm definitely experiencing it currently. Um, I've definitely had a lot of situations where through in through in my life, just in general, I cannot keep a friendship. And I probably shouldn't say that out of my mouth because then it probably keeps the cycle happening. But it's true. It's so true. Every single every single time I think that I'm, you know, getting close to a friend or person and they are it's, it's not like it's a bad friendship or a toxic friendship or anything like that and it doesn't even have to be toxic or bad for you to need to separate from that person it just means that sometimes your time spent with them educating you and you uplifting them or vice versa is over and sometimes it doesn't need to be there doesn't need to, need to be something wrong for it to be over it's just over and that is one of the hardest things to accept. Actually, let me go into this point right quick because this this deals with relationships too. And I'm not by any means, I don't think I'm like a relationship expert, but this is real. If you're in a romantic relationship or maybe even platonic relationship with somebody and you've had this happen to where it's nothing necessarily that you can put your finger on that's wrong you just know something ain't right <laughs> like something ain't right and so when things fall off or things just seem like they're heading in a direction where you're no longer bearing fruit with that person being around that person and it's nothing toxic it's nothing right there's nothing that you can put your finger on that's wrong with that person so sometimes in our mind we say we reason with ourselves and we say hmm well nothing's wrong so why leave nothing's wrong so I separate myself from this person you know what I'm saying and so there's sometimes a thin line between where we are called to go naturally in our heart and that's why it's so important to know yourself um, there's a thin line between that and then also accepting and settling for things just because you're comfortable there and you're sometimes afraid of the outcome that will happen when you start to accept the thing that you need to do in your heart <laughs> so yeah <laughs> let me know how you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up let me know which part of it resonated with you the most what have you gone through like this that you're still trying to process or work through or have you felt that way before that you just are not able to relate to people on that level anymore and it's time for that isolation period so you can 
hopefully do some fasting and not always fasting for meals, but TV, social media, etc. your phone, you know what I'm saying? Uh, music and just sit down and listen, listen to what the most high is trying to tell you where you're trying to be guided at this time. And yeah, just quiet those thoughts. Stay subscribed for more videos just like these. And let me know in the comments down below what else you would like to see from me just like this. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, I'm sending peace your way, love your way, enjoy it to you, your family, and your friends. All right, y'all. Peace.